ஒரு Uh, but it's comparatively small industry we produce about 20 films per year for 25 years civil war engulfed the whole country and many people left sri lanka censorship was was it its highest level because the government didn't want any films to be made on the wow which shows the what's actually happening in the sri lanka why make films during the time of war while people are perishing to understand what's happening around us how we have faced the war the war is over now but how war has affected the humanity and how people have tried to keep their humanity and dignity I made this film to keep my sanity during a bad time and I hope while doing these films that it will give some kind of a hope to all Sri Lankans. The idea behind with you without you. I was approached by uh, Rahul Roy, a documentary filmmaker from India. and he asked me to do a film on masculinity mar gaurud ne wherein actually there were four films coming from south asia from pakistan bangladesh sri lanka and india i read dostoevsky's short story a gentle creature it gives a vivid picture of the effect of the masculinity and how because of the masculinity we could lose the most important thing in life the love and the life itself mang oya gana have with na mang gana give with na mata eka wedak na thiyenna eka mata wedak thiyena wa i love actors and i love good acting without them uh, i mean uh as directors we cannot bring the humanity of the characters i work with them lot before shooting finding out what is the innermost truth in that character and then while shooting a film in a scene we have to find the beat of that particular moment what's he's feeling or what she's feeling when two people are reacting to each other that's the moment uh, director captures lot of nuances every beat is scripted but i been a man i feel when i am directing a uh, actress always been a woman they have brought something beyond i could have imagined every time i face the same challenge when i'm in front of a blank paper and when i take the camera with me to the location every time it's a challenge whether i'll be able to capture the uttermost feelings of these characters and whether i'll be able to come up with certain truths about the country or the situations that these characters are facing with the digital revolution which have started in uh, 21st century the beginning of the 21st century even in sri lanka now young filmmakers are making films using uh, smaller cameras 
and with little budgets or no budgets. It's a good sign. In future, the moviegoers will experience these films by young filmmakers. That's my hope for Sri Lankan cinema.